My love of horse racing first began when I was only a kid, but that was purely down to my dad. I'd play football on a Saturday morning. Um, my dad would stop off at the bookies on the way home. My dad would be cheering on his horses that he put 50p on earlier on in the day. And I'd be sat with him, you know, watching what he was doing. And, and that's where it really started. And then I started getting an interest in jockeys, trainers, who's successful. And my uh, interest started from there. Um, I had a French sister-in-law whose family had a racing stables in Chantilly next to Boussac. And I went over there with my family and they were racing in Chantilly and we went. And there was a horse named after my cat and it came in. I've never quite known what we won <laughs> because I was quite little, um, but it probably paid for our holiday. And so after that, I always had a huge love for racing. Well, it's the people's race, isn't it? It catches the imagination. There's so much history and romance to do with the national. I can remember, I'm old enough to remember, Red Rum, those amazing three wins. I just, you know, it was such an astonishing horse and Bob Champion on Alderniti. And I was in John Hillwood's box when he won the Amberley House and he tried for years to get a winner and it was, it was quite emotional being in the same box as somebody that actually got the winner. Following Tony McCoy's you know, career and everything that he did, winning virtually every race multiple times with there was one monkey on his back. I don't care whether you like racing or not, that moment to see someone at the absolute top of their game that has, has done everything in the sport win the big one um, was a moment that obviously was an unbelievable for him. But I think the whole, whole country, whole world probably looked at that and thought he deserved that one. I'm such a great fan of the National. I don't think there is a bigger fan of the National than me. I remember 2012 when Neptune Kalange won the Grey Horse. I love Greys. I'm a Grey supremacist, by the way. Definitely red. I'm a massive red. We wore red in the Olympic final and it's always turned out well. So who would I go for? I could go for Vicente, for my dear friend Vicente Fox, president of Mexico. Do the Mexicans jump? They may need to if I build a wall. It's jolly difficult. Um, Adamy, I would have to put my money on Adamy, which I have an interest in with Andy Stewart, of course, and trained by Paul Nichols. And I think I will put money on definitely red, by a fact of having a red-headed grandson, at, like Splash of Ginge as well. I've spent quite a lot of money on him. <laughs> Noble Endeavour, that's a good one. Gas line boy for all my friends in the oil industry. The horses for me this year, the two that stick out are Vaux Lion Rouge, obviously red, I think, in French, and definitely red, simply because of the connection with red and the football club. The Liverpool Football Club obviously is a huge part of our life and uh, we've got to give it a wee bit of support and hopefully they come across the line in April. Well, I'm sitting here in the Peter O'Sullivan room in the Sydney Arms, uh, so it's tempting to go for pleasant company but I think I'm going to go for total recall because by the time he retired in 97, Peter had commentated on 50 Grand Nationals and somebody asked him if he could remember all of them. And he said, well, you know, I can remember everyone as if it was yesterday. Trouble is, I can't remember yesterday. <laughs> well, at this stage of the year, it's, it's very difficult to, to obviously pick a winner. Black Lion looks as if he's, you know, favourite or going to be favourite. In saying that, the standard of the Grand National has improved so much over recent years. Um, now you need to be a top-class horse to win it, whereas probably you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago, you just had to be a decent horse that was well handicapped, but now you have to be a real top horse, and I think he is, I think he's on the upgrade. Definitely Red, where he's won a, a big race again this year, looks as if he's you know, at least as good as he was last year. And it looks like he's gonna go for the Cheltenham Gold Cup, but following that, um, the Grand National looks as if it's in his sight. It's a wonderful race and I think everybody loves to have a piece of the National. <laughs>